Good afternoon all. Well, I'm running out of space in the workshop, so I thought I need to chuck some stuff out. So this is the first candidate. Um, it's one of these uh, sort of green things that British Gas was sending out as part of their green commitment. It's called an appliance off, and it's uh, just a plug-in mains block with a little infrared remote. And I think the idea is that when you turn your TV off, this can turn off your skybox at the same time or something like that to save power. Of course that would be hugely inconvenient because skyboxes need to stay on to record your favourite programme. So I think there was a lot of greenwash in this quite frankly. It completely useless. You see loads of them on for sale on eBay. But there is something I think inside here which could be quite interesting. For this to have green credentials then the relay that actually disconnects uh, the supply from the outlet would need to be able to sit in both states, the off state and the on state, uh, without power running through it. So it must have one of these uh, two state relays, which I think would be quite a neat thing to keep. I'll get rid of the rest of this, um, but I think the relay would be quite interesting. So I'm going to take it apart, uh, see if it does indeed have that kind of relay. It's got horrible security screws here. So let's find my security screwdriver set. So this sort of uh, split flat bladed bit is called a CRV6 and I've also got a V8 and a V10 I think. Anyway, let's get this thing apart. Um, yeah, so these are the screws. Well that's two of them out, but um, the other two are partly obscured by the UK um, adapter plate that's obviously been clicked onto here. So that's going to have to come off and I can't see any way that comes off and it's quite securely fixed so I think brute force is required. Right. Well that looks like it's just a a cover so that should come off. But at the moment I'm not entirely sure how. I'll keep working on it. I still don't quite know what's holding that on but I've kind of brutishly forced it well I thought I had apart enough to get the screw out. Yes, I think I have. Yeah, that's that one. And now this one. And then see what's in here. Not much, I wouldn't have thought. Maybe a microcontroller. But uh, the relay should take up a fair bit of space, I'd have thought. So the switch is here. Um, here's the mains outlet, which is red. Here's the mains inlet, which is white. They go up to these two points and they go up to these two points. So the relay's here. Um, there's a cut in the PCB there to, I don't quite know why, isolate that side from this side. I'm not sure why they bother because uh, the two are joined when the relay will either pulls in or pulls out or pulls across. It should be. It looks like a fairly conventional relay to me that this white bodied thing down here. But I would assume it's one that flips from one side to the other with no energy in either state. There's a diode there, presumably, to um, take out the back EMF from the coil when that's fired. Microcontroller, I'm guessing. Uh, that's possibly an op-amp or something. There's a switch there. I can't remember what the switch does now. I think that's for the learning thing. It has to learn the on-off code from your TV set's uh, remote control handset. And a little LED. Let's take these four screws out. Well, there's not a lot in here. It looks like um, there's a dropper circuit, capacitive dropper circuit, to provide power to the microcontroller. Uh, there's a bridge rectifier over there. Quite an interesting square four pin one. But uh, what I'm most interested in is this relay, and it's an Eliway, and it has a part number, so I can look that up. Well, I'm now starting to think that this is a conventional relay, which is really boring because uh, I was hoping for something a bit more spectacular, but I'm having problems getting the relay to pull in. I think I might have fried this diode because I think I was putting this on backwards. I've got 20 volts of uh, nickel metal hydrides here and the relay's not pulling in. Let's uh, remove that diode the brute force way. I removed it. Let's uh, make sure there's nothing left of it. That seems to have done it. My meter's beeping. I don't know why, because 
I don't think that relay is pulling in yet. Let's try it now. Yeah, that's working. So the LED must have gone short. Uh, the little diode here must have gone short. And that's pulling in now, but that, I think it's just a conventional relay. How boring. So I really don't think there's anything worth salvaging here. There's a X2 capacitor here um, with a one meg resistor actually soldered directly underneath it, which is slightly odd. Some sort of MOV type thing there, uh, something called a T fuse. Uh, that bridge rectifier, as I say, that square one, which looks fairly interesting. Um, but in fact, the most interesting thing for me here is this little 8 meg ceramic resonator, which is uh, connected directly to the microcontroller. But I'm not sure I can even be bothered to take that out. I think the whole lot's going to go in the bin. And unfortunately, not very interesting also extends to the little sensor. It is just literally a little infrared photo detector. I don't know, diode, transistor, transistor presumably, because it's got three legs. Three wires running into the... Um, into the module. Yeah, it's just boring, isn't it? Um, but I'll keep these screws. Always worth hanging on to various different sizes of screws. I really am very bad at throwing things away. I end up keeping most of it. But all this plastic casing and this circuit board, not interested. Um, what else have we got? That piece of wire looks quite nice. I think I'll hang on to that too. So that's what's inside a British gas, uh, so-called energy saving device actually made by Oregon Scientific. Um, yes, nothing of any great interest, really. Dull. Cheerio.